Hi everyone. Welcome to the new part of link tutorial. In this part we will learn about two more new methods of the link which are single and single or default. So let's start. We are going to learn what is single method, what is single or default method, what is the difference between single and single or default method and then we will create few examples with the help of mix syntax and the method syntax. Now let's understand about single and single or default method. Single and single or default method both are used to return a single element from a data source. These are some special methods and as per the methods there should be only one match for the element in the entire data source. If more than one elements are available in the data source for the given condition then both of the methods will throw an exception. Suppose I am looking for an element and that element exists at multiple places in the data source. Then we will get exception in both the scenarios. So the question is where single and single or default method works. These methods are used where only one exact match is available in the data source. If more than one match are available then you will get an exception. Now what is the difference between single and single or default method? Suppose I am looking for a particular element and which is unique in the entire data source and if that element exists then single will return that element if that does not exist then single will throw an exception but if we are using single or default then if element exists then we will return that element if that element does not exist then we will get the default value of that element so if no element is available in the data source single will throw an exception but single or default will return the default value of the data source element let's understand all the things in the demo here i am in my visual studio and i have created a very basic console application in this console application i have created a data source and that data source is blank right now Basically this is a list of integers but there are no elements in this list. So let's try single and single or default method on this list. So suppose first of all I am working with the method syntax and in the method syntax if I write my query numbers dot single okay and let's put a breakpoint over here and let's press F5. So you will see I am getting an exception. What is the detail in the exception? It is saying sequence contains no elements which is true because there is no element in the data source that's why we are getting this error and as per the single method there should be exact one match in the data source but here we do not have any match that's why we are getting this exception. Now let's try single or default method for the same query. And now let's see what is the output here you will see we are not getting any exception instead we are getting the default value of the element and what is that default value it is zero so basically if that desired element does not exist in the list then we will get default value if you are working with a single or default now let's add few elements inside this list suppose i have added only one now let's try what is the output with the single or default it is 1 which is true because there is only one element in the list and we are using single or default and as per the method if element exists then we will get that element which is true which is working fine now now let's try it with the single method only let me press f5 now here you will see it is also working and i am getting 1 now let's make few changes in the data source and let's add one more element over here okay now we have two elements in the data source and now let's see what will happen now also i am getting one more exception in the single method let's see what is the detail of the exception as per the exception sequence contains more than one element this is true because there are two elements in the data source and as per the single method there should be only one element one exact match in the data source so how can we use single on a data source which has more than one element so basically you have to use some filtration over here if we use some filtration suppose x is 
greater than one and if we apply this condition then you will see we will have only one element in the data source and if i press f5 then we will get only one number which is true which is true but if we have one more element which is three now we have more than one element in the data source with the help of this condition now again we will get an exception because there should be only one number so we got an exception now let's see what we will get with the single or default method here also i'm getting an exception because sequence contains more than one element okay and when it will return the default value of the element when this condition will be true but there will not be any element in the data source suppose here i write a condition like this so first i am filtering all the elements of the data source that it should be greater than 5 and from that list i am selecting the single or default value as you can see we do not have any element which is greater than 5 in the data source still we are applying single or default method then we will get only the default value of this data source now it is clear from the implementation that if you are working with single or single or default method then there should be only one specific element in the data source if there are zero or more than one element in the data source then we will get exceptions accordingly that's all in this part thank you for watching have a great day